campsite at uh, Kwai is very good. Um, there's a lot of shade, a lot of big trees, which is very nice. It's also on the river, so you can love, love. I can hear, I can hear well dogs. Let's go, quick, quick, quick. Get in the car, get in the car. Quick, quick, just put everything in. Just take this. Just take this. Quick, quick, quick. Actually, put that down, get the long lens ready, because I'm sure they just caught something. The small ones are over there eating eating the carcass that they caught. The big ones have have eaten already because they're all over here having a rest. I think this is the same group we saw last night. They've also got the collars on, and it's in a fairly close range, so we we can safely assume that this is the. Look at the big one playing, taunting the little one. So you can probably safely assume that this is the same pack that we saw last night. You can tell why these guys are so skinny. If you had to share a lamb chop with 24 other people, you would also be skinny. It must have just happened because I heard them. I heard something when I was in the shower and I thought, no, it must not be wild dogs. It's, just, it's impossible. And then when I was outside, I heard them again. And then I saw two cars leave. And then I assumed that this must definitely be the wild dogs. And go forward and get some footage of the, um, the small ones eating the carcass or what's left of a carcass I think. Is that every time all the young ones leave, big adults get up, they run to the carcass, as if to say, there's more food left here, you guys better finish it, then all the small ones get up again. And then they run to the carcass, the big ones get away, and then the small ones start eating again. It's as if she starts to teach them somehow to, to finish their meal and not waste anything. It's very cool. All the pups got in again. So clever. And all the adults walk back to the shed. I delivered mm, on the wild dogs last night, this morning. The hippo. The hippo last night. Two minutes away from the camp, that was a big Yeah, I mean, that's like big, big, big hippo last night feeding on the grass, like a chomper. And what else? Oh, elephant came in right into the camp, walked, literally just grazed the car as he walked past. There were lions in camp last night, not our camp, but this camp, two campsites up. Hyenas last night. Hyenas last night as usual. Wildebeest, yeah. waterbuck, impala, zebra, all literally just right in front of us here. So this is campsite number three. Really, really nice. It's a nice view of the bridge. So for sunset, you can easily consider on the log. We are off. We're going to go for a quick game drive um, in Moremi still, and then we off to Chobe. Let's 
Go. You jumping down? No. You gonna get me down? No. Too high. And then yeah. Another boring road between the two parks. We have finally arrived at Savuti Camp. That's not true. At the Mabeb Gate. Sorry. We arrived at Mabeb Gate and it looks very different all of a sudden to all the others. A lot fancier, I think. Probably maybe it's just because it has a brand new roof and it looks like it's newly painted. But it looks quite nice. So let's see what they have to say for us today. Let's go have a look at the sightings board and see what we've seen. The problem with the sightings board is they don't tell you which color means what. So you know they've seen something there, but... <laughs> you think I believe it? A fantastic tale like that? I imagine you find it incredible. Makes decisions about these things. If you're watching, or if someone who knows the person who makes the decisions is watching, please tell them to bring night drives and what's one and parts back. It is such an amazing part of overlanding and visiting national parks and being able to go on a game drive at night. I, I spoke to the lady at the reception at, uh, at Kwai and I asked her why they don't do nitro she said that they used to but the guides who did them didn't quite follow all the rules and they went off road and they bothered the animals blah, blah, blah. but that is a rubbish excuse I'm sorry that's a rubbish excuse train some proper guides who know what they're doing there's many 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 of them out there Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Five hundred watt power inverter with battery charger. <laughs> if that works, that is literally. I will eat my hat. And you can tell the guy's wiring broke off. This must have sat on the outside of a caravan or a trailer or something. It had just been strapped on. For this and we literally picked it up in the sand now if that works all our problems are solved right battery problems <laughs> well yeah it is we just arrived at camp uh, it looks like this it's really beautiful really nice a lot more people here than we used to but that's fine we're right on the river um, but we'll show you guys more of it tomorrow for now we just want to go and find some animals You can fault many things about Africa, but you can't, you can't fault this. Gorgeous sunset. Beautiful wild dogs running across the road. Just have a look, love. Lion just behind those cars. Look at them bouncing because they're trying to, because they're probably smelling the lion. Please don't go in front of my shot, bro. Please don't go in front of my shot. Please don't go in front of my shot. Oh, I stopped it, I stopped it going. Not many animals they can chase elephants away from a water hole. So what have you said to chase them? The wild dogs! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes the big boy. I'm not very happy with the lion. Elephant charge, lion's not phased. Look at me, guy, I'm not gonna come help you. Charge him again. See what happens. This guy's sneaking up on the line, watch him. That line is not phased at all, look at him. He didn't even blink. They're not very really faced by the by the elephant. See, this is the problem with the simple team. Three, four, five, six, seven. Whoa. That's the wild dogs over there. They're still very angry with the. Whoa. Unfortunately. Sun went down and it was our time to leave. So we sent by the dogs and the lions and hopefully they'll all be it tomorrow. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers. Go. Next, Next time on Crikey Africa. Africa. The elephant and a hippo have a standoff. And we find some cubs and a king.